We are Fidelity. We keep our word. Get reminded to pay your bills of fidelity and you don't even need to activate anything to get this to work just pay your bills like you'd normally do on the app afterwards fidelity will send reminders when the subscription is about to expire and guys this applies to any frequently paid bills fidelity actually has a feature that lets you request for a signed statement of account all without leaving your home it's post covid 2021 and Fidelity Bank is on the track for the number one spot in innovative and professional banking services delivery with some of the finest brains in the banking industry. Our strategic aspirations are built on seven core pillars. The first being brand refresh, workforce transformation, innovation, digital transformation, service excellence, performance discipline, and accelerated growth. We intend to continue to grow our market share. We want to continue to diversify our business. And we're confident that if we do all of that, we'll be able to achieve our set targets. Getting the bank to perform, getting the bank to ensure that it conforms to regulatory requirements, and also ensuring that we create and help in executing strategy that will lift Fidelity Bank. I will work with other members of the board to ensure we entrench the right corporate governance framework that will promote global best practice, especially in a post-COVID business world. I want to contribute my quota through business development efforts, making sure that the bank becomes a tier one bank. I know we talk about Fidelity Bank being a tier one bank, but to me it's already a tier one bank. Ultimately, I believe that at the end of my term, is getting it into people's consciousness when we talk of Fidelity Bank, that is one of the big banks in the country. I will be looking to strengthen what we've been doing in the past. And then given our aspirations to be a tier one bank, certainly we must institutionalize best practice risk management in Fidelity Bank. And so my plan in this new position is to leverage technology strongly to strengthen our capabilities to manage risk better in the bank. Building a workforce to grow the directorate and align with the vision of the bank of achieving a tier one status by 2025. We've set very ambitious goals for ourselves, but we have no doubt that we do have the resources, we have the capability, and we have the right people in the right offices. I'm totally excited about the opportunity and I look forward to being part of a huge success story as Fidelity begins to take its rightful place in the banking industry. We had outstanding promotion for 2019 and 2020. I'm sure that was done. We're proud to say that our numbers moved significantly in the first half of the year. We recorded PBT of 20.6 billion in June 2021, and um, that was a 72% growth from June 2020. With an imposing presence in all the states and major cities of the Nigerian Federation, Fidelity Bank PLC proudly services its over 5 million customers with 240,000 business offices, 775 ATM machines and counting, over 4,000 POS terminals, quality service delivery, and top-notch customer-friendly offerings. Conscientiousness, attention to detail, uh, an eye for ensuring that you do not break the law, concern about your own personal integrity. Integrity, excellence, and inclusive leadership. I am optimistic that these values will help in contributing towards attaining the bank's vision of market and service dominance. One thing I realized about Fidelity that I also internalized is their knack for details. They are detailed in whatever they are doing. They give detailed reports and that helps you in taking meaningful decisions. Ethic-wise, I mean, I, I believe I'm good, but it, it gets a new meaning when you know that it involves money. 
and you have to be very careful of how you do that. You know, transparency is key to that and Fidelity Bank has a limit uh, to the task. The byline that we have that I came to meet here and which I'll invite is in Fidelity Bank, we keep our word. That has affected everything that we do and it's affected my own work ethic. I realize that we all have to work together as a team with my colleagues. Colleagues make promises and uh, we all have to deliver on those promises. The Fidelity Board is an extremely intensive one. Sometimes it feels as if you're actually a full-time employee, constantly meeting, sitting for long hours, and the frequency of meetings is so much higher than you would typically expect. It's such a great feeling. So I spend the larger part of my banking career at Fidelity Bank. It has shaped my behavior. It's also helped my professional career. It's helped me to groom my people. It helps me also to see how to manage even difficult situations. Strong fundamentals, deep in your knowledge base. You need to work twice as hard. Taking a quantum leap into the future with a tier one capital of about 1 billion US dollars, Fidelity Bank sees beyond its capitalization might with a bright eye on the goal. In today's Fidelity Bank, tier one no longer lives in our heads. It's now in our view. Well, as you know, we are moving at a supersonic speed. We'll be among the four biggest banks in Nigeria. We'll be making so much money. I see Fidelity Bank as a leading franchise in financial and ethical banking services within the tier one band of the financial services industry in Nigeria. I see Fidelity becoming tier one bank, of course, I see Fidelity having international presence, very strong one. I see Fidelity making good profit, creating value for its shareholder. For Nigeria to develop, definitely, it's not about the multinationals, it's about the small and medium enterprises. And Fidelity Bank has it there. I see Fidelity Bank consolidating its position in, in that space and um, helping businesses to develop our economy. The Fidelity Bank, at the end of my tenure, that is so much bigger, so much profitable, so much value-focused, value-driven. So in the next five years, our aspiration to be a tier one bank, I see it being fully established, recognized by the industry, by our peers, by regulators, by the international community, stakeholders, investors everywhere. They see the brand as a strong brand, a strong tier one brand, and one that everybody wants to be associated with. I see Fidelity Bank in the next five years as a tier one bank. Of course, that aligns with the vision of the bank. And what it means is that um, we expect to be able to have up to 7.5% market share of business in this industry. We'd like to be remembered as the managing director that took Fidelity to first tier. What I consider first tier is for us to achieve by 2025, 7.5% of market share on all the parameters, on uh, total assets, loan book, deposits, and to also achieve uh, 15 million customers by 2025, as well as return on equity of 20%. With an unflinching resolve and unrivaled investment in workforce transformation, service excellence, accelerated growth, digital transformation, and performance discipline, Fidelity Bank PLC is set to reach beyond the limits.
Success Female CEO of Ed Fidelity Bank, my advice to younger women would be to break the glass ceiling is not easy. Be ready for the hard work. You keep at it. Nothing is impossible. In all of this, keep praying. Fidelity. We keep our word.